Caught on camera, a Florence father frustrated by drivers repeatedly failing to stop for her son's special needs school bus. Way 31 reporter Julia Miller spoke with the father today to learn more about his efforts to now get people to slow down. Jared Coel turned to social media to showcase just how many cars were flying by his son's stopped school bus. The sheer number of videos he posted raises serious concerns when it comes to everyone's safety. For the past 10 years, Jared Cowell brings his autistic son LJ to the bus stop, which happens to be their front yard. Despite Chisholm Road having a speed limit of 45, Jared says you'd think it'd be a highway with how fast people drive by, especially when his son's school bus is picking him up. He says nearly every day he sees someone blow past the stopped bus. I've had a uh, police vehicle run the bus. I've had two city, city of uh, Florence vehicles run the bus. I've had a few service vehicles, uh, different businesses. One most recently was a Lay's box truck run the bus. Cowell took his concerns to Facebook. He created a page to try and raise awareness about the frequency of this issue. His videos show numerous drivers passing by the school bus even when the stop sign comes out. Well, I didn't get the chance to actually catch anyone passing the bus this morning. I used my radar gun here after the bus left and tracked speeds up to 65 miles per hour on this road. Keep in mind the posted speed limit is 45. Cowell says this is an ongoing issue and local officials have not been able to help. The police chief, the last police chief when I was running for mayor, I got some lip service. I, I got some good words, but no action. The last mayor had tried to help. He was more effective. Uh, the current mayor, nothing. Colwell says he has received mostly positive feedback from the community on the page, but he's looking for something real to be done by city leaders or police. It's nice to talk about it, but let's have some action. Let's get this, let's get the, I got plenty of money for a lot of different projects. Uh, let's work on this, it's very important. Coming up on Way 31 News at 5, we'll hear from the councilman who stepped up to help. Reporting in Florence with coverage you can count on, Julia Miller, Way 31 News.